Welcome back to another episode of Island Adventures. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring just a few options you could consider if you're in the market for some fenders for your Sea-Doo. I'm going to go over a few categories you could consider, and then I'm going to give you the pros and cons of each. Stay tuned. new here thank you so much for tuning in this is a brand new channel that I recently launched as a way to share my experience as a boat captain as well as my love and passion for water sports boating and shark teeth hunting if that's an interest to you I'd love to have you as a subscriber well it is a cool crisp morning here in southwest Florida I think we got about 50 degrees this morning but we got a cold front coming through that's going to take us down to a record low of about 30 degrees so for us that's really chilly I know for you guys in some of your parts that's just common, but it's abnormal for us here. So I've got my hot chocolate ready. It's a little windy today, but I'm gonna to try to get this review done for you because tomorrow I'm not coming out of the house at all. So let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so as we go through today's product review, I want you to look at it through the lens of three main categories. The first one being user-friendly, the second one, accessibility, and the third being affordability versus durability. Kind of two lumped into one there. So the first one, user-friendly, we're looking at it to see how easy is the initial installation. And if I do have to put this thing on and off throughout the day, is it something that's not gonna to be too cumbersome for me? Am I gonna be able to do that without it being a hassle? The second one is gonna be accessibility. Storage is everything on a jet ski, isn't it? So when I'm looking at the size-wise, is this something that is gonna fit in my dry bag, a storage compartment, or is it just gonna to be too much of a hassle for me to deal with? and the affordability versus durability. Am I, is it worth spending the extra money if I'm gonna get a couple of seasons out of it? Or am I better off just going with a cheaper option and keep replacing it? So let's take a look at all three categories here as we view these on the jet ski. So the first one I wanna show you today is the most expensive option, and that is the Sea-Doo branded Snap-In Fender. This option here is a great option if you have the cash, and I say that because it runs you $120. Now, what I do like about this one is the fact that it's rigid, but at the same time, it is very flexible. So if you're at the dock and water conditions are changing, or you got a lot of boats coming in at the certain marina that you dock at, this is gonna give you a little gift, which is nice. And as you could see right there, installation was a breeze on the jet ski that I have. Let me mention that. Not all Sea-Doo models have the factory pre-drilled holes where I, I can slide this pin in, but they do have a mounting kit that from my understanding is not that difficult to install. So you might wanna consider that option, but let's look at how this thing installs here. So as I was saying, this pin lines up with the hole that's already here on the jet ski. I slide that in, it snaps in the back, and then it is secured. Now, I will say this though, I have read and talked to several people that say if you're traveling down the water with this thing, that pin can snap off, especially in rough waters. And I have found that to be true. The pin didn't snap on me, but when I got up to 30 or 40, this thing was all over the place. And so I stopped and pulled it off. But you can look at it and see that that could be an issue. This pin could either snap off or just fall right out, right out of here if it becomes dislodged. So for $120, the durability side of that that's very unfortunate. If you're in a situation though, where you're not gonna be doing a lot of docking for the day, if you're just gonna be putting in the water, going out, having some fun and coming right back to the dock, and you can snap this thing right back on in a matter of seconds, then this, this might be a great option for you. I think in that case, this would hold up for a very long time. For me, I am constantly docking throughout the day. And so it becomes a little bit cumbersome for me to have to get this out of the bag given size wise it fits in my bag perfectly two of these it's not an issue that in the dry bag that i currently use so i must say that that's fine and also as far as the user friendliness goes if you're just doing it once or twice for the day it doesn't get much simpler than that so that's one of the options you guys could consider let's look at another one guys let's see if we can wrap this thing up before i freeze out here this is a pool noodle of course a childhood favorite so many uses but for me, this thing wins, wins out hands down. And I say that because as far as user friendliness, 
it mounts in just a matter of seconds. It's a zip tie, a wide zip tie that I put on there. I've left it on there for five trips now. And I can leave it on the boat. I can leave it on the jet ski as I'm going down the water, going down the road. I don't have to worry about it, which is phenomenal. So user friendliness, that wins. Also on the accessibility, I don't have to store it. I don't have to get it out. I don't have to do anything with it. It's there all the time. So it's very accessible. And as far as the durability and affordability, if this lasts me just two months, then $1.20 versus 120, I went out every single time. For me too, I'd rent out my jet skis. So I don't wanna have to worry my customer trying to get them to put that thing on throughout the day. And then I don't have to worry if they are putting it on throughout the day because it serves that purpose as well. Now, if you don't have the factory pre-drilled holes, this will be a great option for you. This is simply a pool noodle with a bungee cord going down the middle of it. And the hook comes out here. Now, I didn't have to cut into this one because my hook fit all the way through it, no problem. But if you did have to cut into it, you raise your blade here, zip tie it three times, and it's gonna be secured. The hook here serves a purpose. It allows it to stay on securely. I've got it where it won't fall off. And up here, I've tied a knot just with some rope to keep tension between there. And so it's not gonna slide up either. On the other side, I've just secured it to the handle. And if I pull up to the dock, this wedge is in there perfectly. It gives me a wide area of coverage. And I have no concern with this. I've left this on for several hours and came back to the jet ski and it was in the same position. I take my bungee dock rope and I tie it to the cleat and so it, it gives it enough tension and pressure to where it doesn't try to come up on me it stays in place the only area of concern for me actually on my jet ski is through here because you could you could say well that's not going to be wide enough to cover your area but if i get any scratches where i dock at it's through this area here so that's why i say this is a better option for me and as you can tell it's not been scratched up at all so this one wins for me on all categories but I'll let you be the decision maker on what's going to be the best option for you. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video and that it's going to save you some time and money down the road. If you liked it, I appreciate the thumbs up and I'd love to have you as a subscriber. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care.